Hey everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you are new. It's been a while. I was really busy this summer so I did take some time off of YouTube but I am really excited to be back. About three or four months back I found this listing on Kijiji for a free, free, wooden dresser and of course i had to go pick it up i know that traditionally dressers like these are found in the kitchen but i really wanted a piece for my bedroom so i decided to strip the whole thing of its old paint and give it a little makeover this was my first time stripping paint um which was <laughs> quite a lot of work but it's totally worth it. I really loved how this piece turned out, so I'm really excited to show you guys at the end of this video. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so here is the free dresser pre-makeover. It had a thick layer of white paint that needed to come off. I started by removing all of the drawers from it, as well as all of the drawer pulls. I wasn't sure if I was going to keep them at the time, so I just put them all aside in a little bag. Once I had all of the drawers laid out, I used this paint stripper called Super Remover New Generation that I picked up at the hardware store. And I, of course, put on some gloves for this, as well as a respirator mask. This was my first time stripping paint, so I just followed the instructions and got to work. This particular paint stripper works with all types of paints. I applied it by pouring it directly onto the surface and then spreading it evenly and rapidly with a paintbrush, creating a uniform layer. This particular stripper needs 15 minutes to work its magic, so I decided to apply the stripper to the entirety of the piece, anywhere there was paint that needed to come off, so that by the time I was done coating it, I could start scraping pretty much right away. The first coat actually worked pretty well on all the drawers. As you can see here, I was scraping in the direction of the wood grain, which prevented me from nicking or damaging the wood. So I had read online that if you use plastic wrap on top of paint stripper, it works really well and it's a lot more effective because it doesn't dry out. But I really didn't want to use plastic wrap for this piece as it's just so big. So because of that, the stripper did dry out a little bit and I did end up having to reapply more to any of the areas that needed it. And I basically had to repeat this process about three times until most of the paint was gone. I also saw a few tips online recommending using some steel wool with stripper to get rid of pesky and stubborn patches of paint, and I found that that worked really well. Stripping the paint off this piece was definitely the most time consuming and labor intensive part. I had to take lots of breaks to make sure I didn't hurt my back, so this ended up taking me almost two weeks to complete. When I was all done with the stripping, I used some 80 grit sandpaper on my micro sander to get rid of any excess paint that was left over on the drawers. And right after that, I went in with a 180 grit to begin smoothing everything over.
And then finally, I finished with a 220 grit sandpaper for a nice smooth finish. There were a few curved areas that I did have to go in and just sand by hand to make sure everything was nice and smooth. I felt so accomplished after sanding everything down. It was so nice to see how the wood looked underneath all of that white paint. And I started getting really excited to stain everything. But of course I had to make sure that all of the dust was gone and there was a lot of sawdust produced from sanding. So I did take a lot of time making sure that everything was clean by using a vacuum. And I also used a damp cloth uh, just to make sure that there was no dust at all before moving everything inside to stain. I ended up using this Circa 1850 Tongue Oil. This product in particular is thinned out for easier application, so it is a lot thinner than pure tongue oil. The instructions recommend using a lint-free cloth to apply this on. I ended up pouring it directly onto the wood surface when possible and spreading it out and rubbing it in with either a clean cloth or a sock. According to the instructions, you are supposed to let the oil penetrate for 10 minutes and then wipe off any excess puddles so that a thin layer remains. I didn't really see any excess puddles, so I just let the first coat dry for 24 hours. As you can see here, the wood really drank the tongue oil up. And I noticed that there were a few areas where I had left some paint that looked way more visible after the oil application. Uh, so I ended up applying a small amount of paint stripper to any of these little areas with an old toothbrush and I just buffed it out like so. Once I was done, I applied my second layer of tongue oil to the whole piece, including all of the drawers. I let this dry overnight before changing up the drawer pulls. I picked up these beautiful glass drawer pulls from HomeSense. I'm really drawn to this style because it reminds me of classic blue Portuguese tiles, which I absolutely love. So because the wood on these drawers was so thick, I ended up getting my dad to help me carve larger holes with a spade bit so that we could secure the pulls to the drawers. After changing all of the pulls, my dresser was complete. I hope you guys are ready for this reveal because it's coming in three, two, one. Oh 
I am truly so proud of myself for finishing this piece. It did take me a lot of time, but it was so worth it. I am obsessed with how this turned out. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I'll see you all again really soon.